So for what I want to show you today is how to make her little face. And um, for this you need a sewing needle. Uh, I've, I've brought two here because I wasn't sure. Well, let's let's try this one. I wasn't sure which one would work best. And so you've got your brown um, thread here and you thread your needle. There you go. And then um, you could double it up. It does actually work doubled up there. Yeah. And then you obviously you know where the front and where the back of the fairy is. You have to turn her over and you're going to um, secure the thread here at the back of her head. And this won't look this won't look nice. It doesn't have to look nice. You just want to go um, in in and out, like make sort of three loops just to have um, the, the thread secure. And then you've got to go through the head. Um, sort of make a mental note where the eyes would be. You want them you want them to be sort of halfway um, uh, uh, down the middle of the head. So I'm making one and don't pull too tight. That's one of the other things is because this cover on her face is not is has not been needle felted. So it's quite soft and if you pull it too tight um, they sort of disappear and then you just go um, in and out in a loop twice or three times and then you go across to the other side where the second eye will be and repeat that. So make sure that your loops are nice and even and then repeat this on that side. So I've doubled my thread up. If you do this with a single thread then you have to do more um, stitches obviously and then um, once you've got two eyes looking the same or as same as you can Go back out through the back, making sure that you're not having sort of any any funny business going on with the loops here. And then you secure the thread again, same way as you started out. And I'm going to have to find my scissors now because I'm not going to chew this thread. And I can't stab it to make it come loose. And I know the scissors are here. I just have to literally dig in my toolbox to find them. Come on, little scissors. I know you're hiding here somewhere. Mm, not much luck. No hiding scissors. Might have to uh, get up and get them. Okay, I am just leaving you um, adorn, ador adoring my little fairy. I'm not leaving you, leaving you, but I'm just gonna. I have no idea what happened to my scissors. They probably sailed down on the floor, and um, I'm just gonna use some a little bit bigger than the ones that I normally use. But so be it. Okay, back again. So I'm just gonna cut that little thread there. That's done for the eyes. And now I'm going to do exactly the same for the mouth, but I only have to do um, one um, area, obviously, because I've got two eyes and one mouth. So thread the needle, double up the thread if you want to, or keep it single, that's entirely up to you. Secure the thread at the back of the head. Don't worry what that's going to look like because you're going to cover that up with hair. Then go through the head all the way. So um, the, the mouth needs to be equal distance from the eye. Um, as um, So it's like a triangle. So you this distance between the, the eyes and from there to the mouth should be roughly the same. That makes quite a neat looking face. And then you go um, do exactly the same what you did with the eyes. And then go back out through the back. If you wish to give your fairy a face. If you don't, if you, we've, we've done lots of fairies without faces that's fine too and then just secure the thread at the back again it's almost a bit tight because I don't want to pull and then just cut the thread and that is how you make the face basically so I hope that um, has been um, helpful to see there's a little face now I've got a little little red mouth and two brown eyes and that's basically how I've um, made her, her face.